I've been living in small spaces for most of my life, so over the years I've learned how to make the most of your space without making it look cluttered. If you want to know some of my top small space organization tips, then keep on watching. Hi guys, I'm Vishali and you are watching Tiny and Tidy, which is where I love to share content about minimalism and organization. Today's video is going to be super helpful for anyone that's running out of storage space and needs some creative storage solutions. Now before I share five of my top tips, I want you to know that I don't believe in finding storage solutions for anything and everything. If you have a decent sized home, you shouldn't even have to find creative storage solutions. The space that you have should be sufficient. If you're trying to be overly creative with how you store things, you probably have too much stuff. And what you really need to do is declutter. So I've always been super organized by nature, but I wasn't always aware of minimalism. And a big problem that I had was that I was trying to organize too much stuff. This isn't a good idea, and if you do this, your home will never be organized properly. You won't be able to easily find what you're looking for, and there's really no point to trying to organize clutter. If you're overwhelmed with all of the stuff in your home and you just don't know where to start, I highly recommend that you sign up for my Clear the Clutter membership. There's a link in the description box down below or you can find out more over on my website. But basically, I'll guide you step by step through the entire process. We'll start by decluttering your home. I'll explain which space you should start with. And once it's decluttered, I'll show you the best ways to organize it. Once your home is fully organized, I'll then teach you all of the cleaning and home maintenance schedules that I have in place so that you can easily maintain a clean and organized home and no longer spend hours on the weekend trying to keep up with all of the housework anymore. If you decide to stick with the membership, I will then be getting into meal planning and meal prepping and explain my entire system around that. The great thing about the Clear the Clutter membership is that it's month to month. So you can join and see if it's for you. And if it's not working for you, simply cancel. Just like a Netflix membership, the only difference is that this membership will actually help you greatly improve your life. All right, so now that you know that I'm not trying to help you find creative storage solutions for clutter, let's move on. So the reason why I had to find creative storage solutions in our home is not because I'm trying to store a bunch of stuff that we don't actually use. We need and love all of the items I'm keeping. I also declutter on a regular basis so that we don't accumulate too much stuff. But the issue with our home is that it's fairly small. We're currently living in an 850 square foot condo. There's currently five of us in this condo. Soon there will be six of us and we will be moving to a larger home. If you wanna know more about that, check out this video. But I really wanted to post this video for anyone that might be living in a smaller space and needs these tips. If you'd like a tour of our current living space, make sure to check out this video. So let's get into tip number one, under the bed and sofa. When living in a small space, I highly recommend getting furniture that has storage underneath or the space for it if you were ever to need it. So in our master bedroom, we have drawers under the bed. This is where my husband and I store our undergarments and towels. The kids' bedroom doesn't have drawers under the bed, but it does have the space for large storage bins. So we've used these to store our travel essentials, diapers, paper towels, and toilet paper. If you want to know more about their shared bedroom and how it's organized, check out this video. The same with our crib. It doesn't have built-in storage, but there is space underneath for more diapers, paper towels, and toilet paper. Our sofa also has space underneath and I found these bins on wheels that can easily slide underneath. I use these to store some inventory for my small business, Little Ladu. I'll link it in the description box down below if you'd like to know more about that venture. Now on to tip number two, slim shoe organizers. Throughout our home, we've used these slim shoe organizers for everything except shoes. They're great because they take up very little space, yet they provide quite a bit of storage. These black plastic ones hold all sorts of miscellaneous items like toolboxes, games, reusable bags, and backstock. In our master bedroom, we didn't have enough space for a chest of drawers, so we've used these white wooden shoe organizers instead to hold folded clothing. All of these shoe organizers were purchased from Ikea. Let's move on to tip number three, over the door organizers. 
This is a space that is often overlooked, but you'll be amazed by how useful the space can be. Every door in our condo has some type of over the door organizer attached to it. Most of them are on the back of the door so that you can't see it, but some of them are even on the front. Since we don't have a mudroom in our condo, I've placed over the door hooks on every door in the main hall. This acts as a mudroom for us and gives us a spot to hang the coat we're currently wearing so that we don't have to hang it in the closet every time. Since we only have one coat closet, it's quite full, so we don't want to have to squeeze in five jackets on a daily basis. Also, when we have guests, we have a place to hang their coats. If you want to know more about this mudroom that I created, check out this video. I've used pocket shoe organizers for some of my shoes and also to store our cloth diapers. If you want to know more about my cloth diapering system and which cloth diapers I recommend, check out this video. We also have this organizer for extra disposable diapers. This isn't one of my favorites, but I decided to hold on to it until our kids are out of diapers and then I'll get rid of it. I find it kind of bulky and I wish it was longer. I feel like there's still a lot of wasted space below it. We also use over the door hooks for our robes and towels. Since we're renting this condo, these over the door hooks are perfect because they can easily be removed and don't cause any damage. In our laundry closet, I've attached these broom holders to the door. They're awesome and I'll link them down below. I also added an over the door hook to hang my e-cloths. I use both e-cloths and Norwex to clean our home. Next week, I'll be explaining what these are and how they compare to one another, so be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when that video is posted. These cloths have been absolutely phenomenal when it comes to cleaning, so you're not going to want to miss that video. Lastly, on this door we have an iron and ironing table holder, and I also hang my Norwex cloths here to dry. In our living room, I hung a full length mirror on the door leading to our master bedroom. Our living room is also our playroom and the kids love having a mirror to look at whenever they're playing. So that's why we have a mirror here. My husband and I also get a lot of use out of it. If you wanna know more about our playroom slash living room, check out this video. As you can see, we've really used the doors in our condo for extra storage. There are tons of over the door organizers available on Amazon, so do a quick search and look for ones that would be suitable for your space. Let's move on to tip number four, vertical space. When living in a small space, you really want to maximize the vertical space. I've done this throughout our condo and we'll share some examples. We have tall cabinets throughout which can hold a lot of items. We've also used the space above to hold additional bins. The furniture in our living room is also tall and slim. If you want more tips on space saving furniture ideas, check out this video. I also suggest that you watch this IKEA haul video that I did. I shared a lot of space saving solutions in that one. I also made the most of the vertical space on this wall behind one of the bedroom doors and hung some folding chairs. We use these chairs whenever we have guests and need some extra seating. And now tip number five, risers. Throughout our kitchen, I've added these risers to double the storage space. Definitely watch this video if you want more kitchen related tips. In our kids shared bedroom, I added these shoe racks from Ikea to act as risers and also double up the storage space. And speaking of doubling up on storage, we put in a second clothing rod so that we could hang my daughter's clothes on the top and my son's on the bottom. Since kids clothing is small, there's enough space to do this. I've found a rod online that can just be hung from the top rod. I'll link it in the description box down below. And there you go, those are some of my small space organization tips. I have a lot more, but we'll be sharing those in my Clear the Clutter membership. Since we focus on a specific room every single month, I can go in a lot more detail and share the best ways to organize each space. So if that's something you need help with, make sure to sign up. The link is in the description box down below, or you can find out more on my website, www.tinyandtidy.co. If you found this video helpful, please comment down below with the word helpful so that I know that you want to see more videos like this one. Also, make sure to like this video and share it with someone that you know would benefit from it. I post new videos every single week, so make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out. 
And for daily tips and tricks, make sure you're following me over on Facebook and Instagram. Lastly, check out these two videos for even more useful and practical information to help you get more organized. As always, thanks for watching guys and happy tidying. Bye.